What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Also last night we finally got some news regarding content coming very very soon. So let's recap. Okay so on the 12th of April we'll be getting the Destiny 2.2.0 update. This will include new PvE challenges, new and updated gear, a new quest featuring the Belighted Chalice Strike, increased max light and rewards, sandbox and crucible updates and more. So that's what we get come the 12th of April, but until then, coming over the next three weeks, every Wednesday via Bungie's Twitch channel, we'll be getting previews of what's coming with that update on the 12th of April. On Wednesday the 23rd of March, we'll be getting a preview into new things to do. On Wednesday the 30th of March, we'll be getting an insight into the new things to earn, and come April 6th, we'll get previews into the sandbox and crucible updates. So the next few weeks will be full of new info, but until it starts on Wednesday, all we have is the picture which you guys can see on screen now, taken from the weekly update yesterday. Now this picture has had everybody talking. Clearly we see a Hunter Titan and Warlock, which seem to be in taken form, which itself asks a few questions. What the hell is going on? And how is this even a thing? Well, there has been a lot of speculation. Is this a shader? Is it a new form of Taken enemy? There's even people thinking that there might be new Taken theme subclasses, which in my opinion seems most doubtful. I personally feel these are just new shaders. Another very interesting thing about this picture is the armor all three guardians are wearing. It seems as though it is Prison of Elders armor, as you can see on screen now. So what does this mean? It's obvious Bungie are making some sort of statement, but why is it? Why Taken Shader and why Prison of Elders gear? Could Prison of Elders be returning or with a Taken twist? They did state in the update that we'll be getting new PvE challenges and new and updated gear. Could the Prison be returning with new challenges and the Guardians in the picture rocking that Taken Prison of Elders gear be the new and updated gear we unlock from this new version of the Prison of Elders? Who knows? But at this point, in my opinion, it does make most sense. If this is the case, what do you guys think about the Prison of Elders returning? And what changes do you think they should do within the prison? Me personally, I quite enjoyed the Scholar's fight, but the whole thing got really repetitive pretty quick. Also, in my opinion, the loot aka reward system within the prison wasn't that great. So in my opinion, if the prison is returning, hopefully the changes they have made eliminate how repetitive it felt. Yes, I know most things in Destiny are repetitive, but the thing that made the Prison of Elders even more so was the fact it was five rounds. Maybe make it shorter, but harder. Probably three rounds, but much, much harder. Also eliminate the chest and key nonsense. That, in my opinion, was pretty pointless. It was a feature where the loot, in my opinion, was below par for what it was. So changes to the loot also need to be taken into account, in my opinion. But what do you guys think? What change to the Prison of Elders, if it is that which is returning, do you feel need to be made? Let me know down below in that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you on that next one. Peace out until next time. Enemy Peace. We all on YouTube every damn day. Watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many are the same. That's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes. Heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.